Welcome class to SPSS assignment part three. Here are the directions and I'm going to run you through how to of just the next three tasks, which is the Pearson R, the linear regression, and chi-square bra, sister, shoots. Here we go. Complete the assignment below and submit in one document in Canvas. Do not submit an SPSS file. Put your SPSS outputs for each task into a single document in a format acceptable for submission in Canvas. For example, Microsoft Word or PDF. Here is a video that, oh wait, this is the video, so you don't need that directions. Task one, Pearson R task. What well, you'll submit for task one, Pearson R test output for the study below. Your instructor interested in studying the relationship between the number of study hours and final grades in your exam. So you decide to do a correlational study to study this relationship. Hand out your final exam. Ask a question that states how many hours did you study for the final exam? Data is below. Column one is the number of study hours reported, and column two is each student's associated final exam score. So we're just going to take this data and plop it into column one. And we've got 30 cases there. This is good. And then we'll take column two. and plop it into, yep, you guessed it, column two. Okay, in variable view, we're gonna change these terms right here for name. We're going to put study hours. And for the second one, we're going to put scores. The measures are both scale, so we're gonna change that. And we are good to go. GTG on that one. And let's see what the directions ask for now. We're going to kick it down, analyze, correlate, bivariate. Analyze, correlate, bivariate. And we're going to plot these two variables in there. We're going to keep it at Pearson right here. And instead of a two tail, we're going to do a one tail. Check it. And hit OK. Then you got the output, control C, plop it into a Word doc, and then paste it, right click, and then do one of those things, nifty things. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. And the next one we're going to do, so you're actually gonna use the same data uh, for task two. So uh, instead of uh, looking at our correlation, we're going to do a prediction model. You're an instructor interested in creating a model that predicts the relationship between the number of study hours and final grades in your exam. So you decide to do a linear regression test. You have the same data. So we're gonna go back here and same data, variables are the same. Sweet, really, this easy? Yes, I made it this easy for you. Hey, you got finals coming up, right? Analyze, regression, linear. Here we go. Analyze, regression, linear. And then for study hours, uh, let's see. That's going to be your predictor variable, study hours in the independent box. And then highlight scores and put that in the dependent box. Click OK. And then copy and paste these outputs right here. What? We've already finished task two in less than four minutes. Are you serious? Okay, so I'm gonna open up a new file right here, and we're gonna hit up task three. Whoop, whoop. Can we do this homework assignment in less than 10? I do believe we can, unless I babble a little more, which I won't. Task three, the chi-square, brah, sista, shoots. Here we go, chi-square test. Will you submit for task three, chi-square test output for the study below? Your freshman is considering taking a class that's open to all class levels, and you're wondering how freshmen perform in the class relative to students in other class levels, sophomore, junior, and senior. You decide to run a survey which asks students their class level and their final grade in the class. You have the data below. Column one represents class level and column two represents each associated student's reported final grade. Okay, let's grab the data. 
or column one. Get your columns, get your columns here. And put that in my new file. For variable one, we have 40 cases here. 40 students. And here's their grades. And plop that into our new SPSS file. And that's their grade. Next, what are we gonna do? We have to change the variable view. And for the name of the first variable, what are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it class. Class, class. And then the next, next one we're gonna call grade. Thank you. Okay, and then type is numeric. We'll leave that as that. And then the types of measures though, we're going to um, call class nominal and for grade ordinal. Okay. And then, oh, the type is uh, string variables. So those actually automatically changed for those. And then what we're going to do is go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs. And click one variable into the row box and click one variable into the column box. Select Statistics button, select Chi-Square, and continue. And then click OK, and your data output will come for you. And you'll just cut and paste that into your Word doc. So that was how to do SPSS assignment part three in less than eight minutes. Hope that was helpful. Peace.